It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was wandering around my local Morrison's store today, picking up just the weekly shop. I wasn't in that kind of like picking up stuff to review mode, if you like. But I got to the sausage aisle and I come across these. £2.99 for six of them. We previously did the, uh, we've done two different styles of these sausages from Morrison's and I thought they were really good. But they got, they had little like, um miniature sausages the like on a string and i thought they're just a plain old sausage but these cheddar and jalapeno jalapeno hot dogs cheddar and jalapeno look at these morrison's the best 600 grams 72 percent pork with extra mature cheddar cheese Jalapeno chili. Oh, they're going to be great. They're going to be, well, they should be good. Um, they go on the grill for 25 minutes or they go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I've got the, look at it smoking away there. I've got the uh, George Foreman barbecue out. Now, um, somebody recently commented on my last sausage review, or a lot of you did, that the sausage I cooked wasn't, wasn't actually cooked. It, it definitely was. Um, I, won't, I didn't have any ill effects. Um... I didn't do any kind of like, nothing nasty happened to me. I quite like it. And normally, normally I would stick it in the grill or I would stick it on a barbecue, this, this cheddar and jalapeno sausage. But for reviewing purposes, this is brilliant. Plug it in, in the bar, I can review some sausage or whatever meat I want on this grill. So let's get it on then. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it a couple of times. I'm going to, I'm going to cut it in the middle. I do like saying that though. No, I won't cut it in the middle with this one because I don't want all the cheese to run out. So we're going to leave it as it is. We're just going to keep spinning this sausage and I'll be back when it's cooked. But in the meantime, I'm going to do a bit of a kind of like a crossover review. While the sausages are cooking, I'm going to pause the video now and start another video, Shameless Lager from Boundary Brewing Company, 4.8% ABV. So if you've seen this, if you've seen this shoot up on the on your on your upload, uh, whenever I've review, uh, released a video, then you'll know that it's a cross kind of cross review. So I'll be back when the sausages are cooked. Okay, we just finished that lager review, and it's really really good lager. Look at that, Ireland. And the sausage is nearly, nearly ready. Look at that. Whoa. Love a British banger, eh? Love a British banger. Look at all that. I don't know whether that's a bit of cheese oil or... Oh, honestly, drinking this lager... And looking at that sausage is just getting me salivating like crazy. Okie dokie. Right, um, I'm going to set the camera up and then we're going to do a review of this lovely looking cheddar and jalapeno hot dog. Okay, so we're ready to go. Ready to eat this sausage. Let's turn this. Turn the grill off to zero. Unplug the grill. I only do that now because I'll forget otherwise. And here is that very hot dog. Let's grab it. Whoa. Look at that. I think that worked quite well. Um, I'm all about experimenting with the channel, doing different things. Um, like cross-referencing like that. Not... I, I didn't do it in a way to go, hey, watch this video. N not like that, but um, it's a kind of, I mean, if I'm cooking a sausage, which is going to take 10, 15 minutes on this grill, I might as well do a lager review, do a beer review at the same time. And I thought that just kind of worked quite well, actually. I, there wasn't a lot of downtime. When I'm working, I'm always looking for things to do. So it was a case of, let's just give things a go. Let's give it a try. The lager is superb. 
Shameless Lager from Boundary. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, I might as well promote it. Check out that review. But here's the hot dog. This is what you're here for. Uh, whoa. And if my mate, I'm going to give him a shout out. Andrew Foster. I seen him over... I seen him over Morrison's this morning. If he's watching this video of this hot dog, I literally left the conversation with him at the end of the meat aisle, walked down the meat aisle and come across these. And I was thinking, mate, you love your chilli. I bet you love the sausage too. Who doesn't, yeah? Um, get back down to Morrison's and check these out. Hopefully they're good. Let's dive in. Oh, God, hot. Oh. <laughs> Look at that steaming hot sausage. It's definitely cooked. Definitely cooked. Oh, it's um bit of fat spurted out of my lip, maybe jump. Oh the cheddar cheese and the pork and the little tiny little reminder that it's got jalapeno that little burn in the back of the throat oh, oh, oh yeah oh that is so good oh it's got that so the first round of sausages that they brought out, I think they were called Beechwood Smoked, I think they were called. Um, it was a cross between a British sausage and a German sausage. They still sell them. Um, it's definitely got that kind of woody, kind of like smoky, almost like a really good German frankfurter type sausage flavour to it but at the same time there's a lot of Britishness to this sausage as well mm. it's so brimming tasty look at that little bit of jalapeno there there's so much going on it's um I mean, okay, they were £2.99. Not the cheapest sausage you can buy, but, but, I tell you something, pack of 10 Richmond, pack of 10 Richmond sausages, £3.50. That made me go, oh, put a big swoop. I mean, a Richmond sausage, a wall sausage type of thing, they should be, they should be no more than £2, even in 2023 with all this cost of living thing going on. They should be no more than £2 for a 10-pack of Richmond sausage. Especially, especially when you can buy Morrison's 6 cheese and smoked jalapeno proper quality sausage for £2.99. Disgraceful, really. Um... The other thing I've seen, I had to buy them anyway because I like my roast dinners and you can't have a roast dinner without gravy. Oxos. Oxo cubes are like £3.50. Oxo cubes for a pack of 12 Oxo cubes used to be about 50p a couple of years ago. Now they're £3.50. What is that all about? Let's not turn this into a moaning video, though. Let's stay positive. And the positive thing about this sausage is the fact that if you don't want to buy any Richmond sausages, don't buy them. Buy these instead. They're 50 pence cheaper. You get six... I, I mean, you've seen it. It was a reasonably sized sausage. It didn't shrink on the barbecue didn't shrink at all you've got all that lovely 
cheese in there. Let's give it a bit of a squeeze, shall we? Look at this. Look at that. Bit of cheese going on. Cheese fat rising to the surface. Oh, bit of jalapeno. Cold lager. Oh. We're not here long, are we? Hey. Eh? We're not we're not here long. Blimmin' enjoy it while it lasts, eh? Enjoy it while it lasts. This is this is I mean I woke up this morning and I was like I was knackered. I had a big day in the garden yesterday. I went up playing snooker last night. I woke up this morning and I was like in the bathroom like creaking my back and oh, you know trying to when Andrew Foster see me this morning in, in Morrison's all my hair was everywhere and <laughs> just knackered like fast forward an hour or two and I feel on top of the world I feel on top of the world and it's not because of the beard it's, it's not because of the, because of the beard it's, it's because of the the circumstances that I found myself in myself in I'm enjoying a bloody fantastic hot dog Yeah, look at that jalapeno. And I'm enjoying a really clean, crisp, wonderful lager. So I'm ready to rate this. Look, I'm gonna show you again before it goes. Look at that little bit of jalapeno. Oh. I'm gonna go and get changed now. I was gonna have a day off. I was like, I can't go in that garden again today. I'm gonna to go and get changed now. Pull on my rags and do a little bit more in that garden. I'm nearly there for the summer. Nearly there. This has kind of like changed my whole mood, if you like. This has changed my whole day. And food can do that to you. Food can do that to you. Food can change your mood. That hot dog was the flipping best hot dog I've ever eaten in my life. It's terrific stuff. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.